to be too repetitive, but I really want to drill this uh, feature home, rotating your spread. So I'm going to go to file and open, and I think I have the same file from the previous tutorial. There's chapter seven, folder number three, and it looks like it's going to be the same catalog, I believe. Okay, here we go. This is what the catalog looked like in the beginning. Okay, and I'm not going to do all of this, but I want to show you what rotating the spread view does. So right here, I've got background color fields. It's kind of buried below everything else. So I'm going to click on the fill, make that cyan, and with a normal rectangle tool, I'm just going to drag a big box all the way across. If I accidentally let go, I can go to my black arrow and just resize it right there. That's fine. I'll lock it. The black bars are good. I'll lock those. And now I want to start dropping in pictures. Okay, I'm just going to do two of these here because I don't want to waste time. So on my pictures layer, Command D for a document. Okay, right here in Chapter 7, Folder 3, Wave 1. I'm going to select all three of these or all four of those. Open. And I'm going to aim for the center of the box. Click, 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 click. Well, that's looking pretty ridiculous. Okay. The pictures are four times bigger than the box itself. Pictures come in from their upper left corner. So if I click the content grabber, you could see how big each picture is. And I'm going to show you a really quick trick for fixing these. So I'm going to actually, now that I look at it, do all of the photos. Click outside when a photo is done, the last photo is done. Command D, come down to folder three and wave two. Aim for the center each and every time. Click outside when you're done with the last photo. Command D for a document. Come back down to chapter or folder three. There's wave three. And I'm going to keep loading up these pictures. One, two, three, four, click outside. Command D for a document. Come down to folder three and wave four. In this wave, there's only three of them. Click, click, click. Because this says an invisible girl was created, but she's invisible, so you wouldn't see her anyway. Okay. Ah, uh, stupid humor. Go down to folder three, wave five. Let's take all of those. Center, 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 center. Click outside. Command D for wave six. So in folder three, wave six. And center, 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 center. If you wanted to, you can come down here. Click on the yellow page so InDesign knows you're working down here. Command D. And we'll go down to folder three for our exclusives. Got six of them here. Center, 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 center. Great. That's a really bad catalog. <laughs> okay, what I need is to center all my photos. They're all coming in from their upper left corner, which is shoving them right out of the picture frame. So here's an awesome trick. I'm gonna select all these four, hold shift, and I'll just start right above in this blue area. Hold shift and select four more, shift and select four more, shift and select these three, shift and select these four, Shift and select these four. Okay. The keyboard shortcut for centering objects on the page. If you don't remember, it's right up here. Object menu. Fitting. Center the content. Command shift E. So I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut. Command shift and E. Now the pictures are too big. So if I wanted them to fit proportionally it's command option key and the shift key and e it's like a four key combination command option shift and now i hit the letter e that is so cool <laughs> i love that trick i do that 
I use that all the time. Select, Command Shift E, Command Option Shift E. How cool is that? So again, let me show you with this wave what's going to happen if you rotate it a spread. In fact, you know what? I'm going to do it on this page. No. Nah. Let's do it on this spread. I'm going to click on this blue. Okay, we'll go to my pages panel. And let me tear that out again. I'm going to click on the center of this wave six. Click and delete. Click and delete. Click and delete. Click and delete. Because I want to show you what a rotated spread will also allow you to do. If I click the pop-up, page attributes, rotate the spread 90 degrees clockwise. And now I'm going to zoom in on this. Notice how I rotated the entire spread. The pictures are sitting on their side. So here's what's cool. I'm going to click outside. Command D for a document, and I'm going to come down to Folder 3, Wave 6. I'm going to take these four. Now check this out. When I open, it will automatically, even though the picture is vertical, it knows to flip it. Flip it, flip it, flip it. I love that. I love rotated spreads. Now, I really just needed it so, like in the previous demo, I can add my type. But it recognizes, even though for me, it brings in the picture vertically, it knows the spread was rotated, therefore the boxes are rotated, and it throws in the picture at its proper format. I love that. InDesign is really intelligent. So now I click the pop-up, go to Page Attributes, Rotate the spread view and clear the rotation and check that out. I love it. Okay, that's how you work with rotated spreads here in InDesign one last time. We'll move on.